Hi, this is Camilla Blossom at the Columbia River. And in the distance is Y East, Mount Hood. And I felt called to come to the water today. And they've been asking me to um, open to them, to their spirits. And I invite you to do this with me and welcome their messages, their songs, their frequencies, their sacred spirits of creating relationship with them. And I'm just gonna open and see what they would like to share with us today. Welcoming in the mer, the mermaids, mer people. Welcome in the water devas, fairies, undines, elementals, dragons, many, many different kinds of spirits of water. And they all form this beautiful liquid that is in its higher octave light. So they want you to remember that water in its higher frequency is actually made of light. Water is also crystalline in nature and our bodies at this time of ascension on the new earth are becoming or already are crystalline. We are crystalline beings. We've moved, we are moving from carbon to crystalline. And what that means is we are like crystals but we can imagine that all the water in our body, which is over 70, 80% of our body, is water. It is light. It is crystalline. And at the same time, what is opening for us is the solar nature of our body. Excuse the plane, we're right by the airport. The solar aspect of our body comes comes through the sun, solar sun. The water connects very deeply with the sun, with the solar dragons of all different colors, with the rays of the sun. If you see the sparkly on the water, I'm gonna turn it for a moment so you can see the sparkles out on the water. When you see those sparkles on the water, you are seeing that interaction between the water crystalline energy and the fire solar energies. And what that is creating is this beautiful alchemy of the fire and the water, of heaven and earth, of the masculine and the feminine, of the balance. And being this time of equinox is the time of the fire and the waters and the heaven and earth and the inner masculine and feminine within us are yin and yang. It's the bringing together and creating equilibrium between our watery crystalline self and our solar spirit fire self into the embodiment of who we are right now. So I am seeing a lot of excitement with this message that um, seeing the mermaids coming in, the mermen, the Lemurian ones. And they are also offering an activation, like an attunement for anyone that would like to receive that, of they will work with your energy body, with your crystalline and solar energy, and create um, a weaving of that fire and water within your own being. And recognizing too that fire is also that kundalini dragon energy, 
which is all about your enlightenment, you're moving into crystalline light, into the solar light, into these new energies. We are receiving new activations, new upgrades almost daily right now. So this offering through the waters is to support you in this um, opening, this blossoming, this allowing for this energy to run, to flow, to move, to dance through your energy system. So we're just going to receive that. I'm also seeing the plant mugwort coming in, a little plant medicine from those spirits, the plant spirits of mugwort. And We'll just open. I was working with a grandmother willow this morning too. It feels like that's connected. That I was, um, the willow is right here. And so we'll invite that willow grandmother presence to allow the waters of our feeling nature to flow and give ourselves permission and acceptance to um, feel, to cry, to feel grief to allow sometimes the very vulnerable aspects of um, our humanity which is very tied to water and I know for me it's um, something I've continually worked on as an empath sensitive being okay expressing my emotions my vulnerability with others or with publicly or with groups so allowing the water to allow that vulnerability and we'll open to the mugwort. So that spirit of the mugwort is coming in. It actually was in the offering um, I made. So, <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, we have some mugwort in here with lavender and rose petals and mica. So mugwort, um, and to allow plant spirit in, you simply open you can imagine your crown opening, top of your head, you can imagine the crown in your root chakra opening to earth and allowing earth energy up into your body, into your root. So you can allow the plant medicine to come up into your body from below, very earth, plant-based, and then you can allow the spirit of the plant to come from above through your crown. So it's wanting to come in and it's helping us connect with the dream time. It is a dream, a dreamer's plant. But what it's showing, and I apologize for the noise, we have a lot of activity, it's Sunday on the river, that the mugwort is helping us dream, recognize that we are dreaming our lives and if we want to dream a different story, a new story, let go of the old stories, we have permission to create new dreams, to change dreams and midstream. So if you've been having recurring dreams, um, I've talked to people like from childhood having recurring dreams. It's like go into that dream, dream with it, and move it to the place, the path you want that dream to go. You have the power to re uh, choose a different path, choose a different story. And if there's something in your life, not just in your dreams, but in your actual life that doesn't feel like it's going on the path, or you feel like you want to expand the path or go in a different way or with different people, um, ask Mugwort to assist. We're also at the new moon today. I just <laughs> remembered um, the Libra moon, which is all about balance. And mugwort can be of assistance for this lunar cycle because the mugwort's very much about the goddess. It's about the cycles. It's about um, the new moon, the full moon, and really working in the dream time. So this would be a really good cycle to work in the dream time with your dreams, 
with your dreams of the future and of the now. But they need to be worked with in the now. So I encourage that. And just to close, I'm going to ask the mermaid that's with me. Seems like she's got some more messages. And also open, you may be getting your own messages, um, your own feelings. That is how water elementals communicate, is through your feeling body. So it's not necessarily words. It's not necessarily even sensations or something you can understand. It can be a pure feeling energy and trust that that's the most important thing um, the language of nature is through our heart it is about feelings it's how we feel and vibe in with our feelings and that kind of energy so I'm just going to open I think that's part of what she wanted to communicate got more planes going on <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> I have been noticing a lot of noise around me um, I do live in a city, which I'm not used to. I live in Vancouver, Washington. So um, being able as a sensitive empath to be okay, being around, lots of um, sounds that don't always um, lay in coherence with our bodies. So, all right, mermaid. She's got a lot of magenta energy to her, which is a lot about the heart, like the higher heart energy is magenta. So, and I'm seeing a lot of Mary Magdalene energy, Mother Mary, um, Mother Feminine creation, goddess energy coming in. So I think that remembering of how connected the waters and our feeling nature are to heal to open and allow yourself to receive from um, mother nature from mother earth from the cosmic mother mother god mother mary isis whoever you can relate with your own mother whoever you can relate with a tree find someone who can be a mother to you where you feel comfort, where you feel loved, where you feel um, reassured and given hope. It may be a person, a teacher, a grandmother. It's really important to have our um, mothers have m our mothering and also to develop our own inner mother because we'll get to a point where you will feel that mother all the time. You will feel your own ability to mother grow so that you can mother yourself. You can be your own mother because you know you are fully connected. I feel this, that I'm connected to Mother Earth and to the spirit grandmothers and to the cosmic womb of creation, uh, God goddess all there is so allowing yourself to feel that and the mermaids also saying visit the waters that's a big message from her is go down and visit the waters if you live by the ocean you live by the river you live by a pond um, a waterfall um, this is a really powerful time and very helpful for ourselves for healing even if you just go down and be there um, and be by the waters and the mermaid said she will be there for you at the waters 
um, you can meet her there or you can meet your own mermaid she'll turn you on to your own mermaid or water spirits elementals um, she really wants to work with each one of you she wants to be there for you help you they all do all the elementals they're waiting to work with us so this is also a message that they're waiting for you they're waiting for each one of us to renew, to restore, reclaim our connection and relationship with the spirits of Gaia. So thank you and happy new moon.